It is an absolute pleasure to, and a blessing actually, to stand in front of you and tell you how much the Lord has done to my life. My name is Fadi Bshara. I grew up in a loving Catholic family. At the age of seven, the war started in Lebanon and it was nasty and not sure when it will end. Most of my childhood was spent in shelters with images on the news of people dead or screaming for blood. I remember waking up every single morning asking the same question. Where is God and why did he created me to live in misery? I thought to myself, he either doesn't care or he doesn't exist. I experienced sin at early age. Sin was my partner 364 days a year. And only one day on Christmas Eve, I used to go to church to confess and next day back to my dear sin. Three questions haunted me for years. Who created me? Why he created me? And where would I go when I die? Don't get me wrong, I had a very successful life. I could have anything I desire, but all this filled my heart with absolutely nothing. Life felt boring to me. My relationship with my wife and children went cold, to say the least. Sin dried me up, left me with no love to myself or others. I used to go clubbing, drinking, and gambling without going through everything. I used to go with so many other friends around me, but I would come back home and feel so lonely. I experienced demons in my sleep and sometimes while I'm awake. I started looking into Buddhism, Oshawism, New Age, and other religions to find meaning to life, but none made sense to my whole existence. And they couldn't clearly answer my original three questions. Early 2008, in Dubai, we were invited to a Bible study. I thought to go and make a dirty show. There I met Jack Marcus, who is a born-again Christian, started reading from John first verse. I straight away stopped him and asked him, who are you referring to? Look at all this misery, wars, starvation around the globe. Where is your God? But Jack was very calm. He asked me if he can read from another verse. I'm not sure why I agreed and felt more relaxed. He then opened Matthew 4 and started reading how Jesus fasted and tempted of the devil. He read the whole verse and then asked me, do you know who is the God of this earth? I answered straight away. Isn't it the God that you're talking about? He said, no, it is the devil. Then he started explaining how the wages of sin is death and how we will always come short of paying our debts. I knew there and then that I had been led by the devil for 40 years. It made a lot of sense in my mind. I knew that all the heaviness and emptiness I experienced were the result of all the sins that I made in the presence of God. I knew I am in a corner, but worst, I deserve hell, and there was nothing I can do. I needed a savior, I needed someone to pay my debts. I started reading, searching, and understanding the Bible. Three months later, on the 5th of May, 2008, I went down on my knees and prayed from all my heart. I asked the Lord to help me away from sin. I asked him to change my heart of stone to a heart of flesh that is able to love, care, and serve him. Yes, at that particular moment, I experienced my second birth of God. I was saved by his grace, and yes, he paid my debt and covered me with his blood. Not long after, we moved back from Dubai to Lebanon, where God led us to a biblical church where I was disciple, got baptized, and served the Lord. I was given heaps of love to my wife and my children. 
My family was and remains an awesome blessing from above. I was giving love to sinners, and God was so generous to use me to bring number of saved ones to his church. Sin was for 364 days a year, and repentance was only one day. Today, holiness is a challenge every single day. If and when I sin, I know immediately my way back to the cross. I stand here and tell you, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Psalm 34, 8. My dear friends, the door of salvation is still open. Trust in God's promises. He who said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I give you rest. Matthew 11:28. I thank God for this church, Pastor Robert, and you, brethren, for your prayers. And I pray God to strengthen our love in him, in his word, and to each other, to be able together to stand strong against all the challenges that we are facing in the end of days. Since we moved to Australia, we have been blessed to be part of this church. I was blind. Now I can see. God bless you.